Iran is set to reopen its embassy in Saudi Arabia after a seven-year hiatus. To tell us a bit more, correspondent Reza Sayer joins us now from Tehran. And Reza, first of all, what do you think the significance is of Iran reopening this embassy in Saudi Arabia? Yeah, this is another step uh, in Iran and Saudi Arabia, the process of being friends again. The last time Iran had a functioning embassy in Riyadh was back in uh, 2016, roughly seven years later. They are reopening the doors to their embassy in Riyadh, reopening their consulate uh, general in Jeddah, and also reopening their permanent mission to the Organization of Islamic Cooperation uh, in uh, Jeddah. According to Iran's foreign ministry, the opening of these three posts will happen today and tomorrow. Uh, the reopening of Iran's embassy in Riyadh uh, comes after an agreement was signed back in March in China between the governments of Saudi Arabia and Iran to restore ties. That has been big news here in Iran and the region, the Iranian state media, Iranian leaders uh, depicting the restoration of ties between Riyadh and Tehran as a major step in restabilizing and bringing peace to a region uh, where both Saudi Arabia and Iran play key roles in energy, security and the economy. Of course, Riyadh and Tehran have not always had good relations. Uh, it has been up and down. There was a low point in 2016 when Saudi Arabia uh, executed a Shia uh, cleric. There were protests uh, in Tehran. The Saudi embassy was stormed. The two sides cut off uh, diplomatic relations. And now again today, Iran reopening its uh, embassy in Riyadh. The two countries also talking about uh, bolstering uh, security cooperation. A naval commander this week uh, claiming that there's going to be a naval alliance between Iran, Saudi Arabia and other Gulf states, although there's been very few details, no confirmation from Saudi Arabia and other Gulf states. And Reza, what impact might this re rapprochement have, um, not just on Iran and Saudi Arabia themselves, but perhaps on the wider region? Yeah, when neighbors get along, obviously there's a potential for peace and stability. Uh, certainly on paper, uh, this development looks like a big diplomatic and political win for Iran, a country that's been isolated for a very long time. And we're already seeing some ripple effects uh, Iran already restoring ties with other regional countries, uh, UAE, Jordan, Egypt, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia restoring uh, ties with Syria. Both these countries have influence in places like Yemen and Lebanon, so the potential of peace and stability in those countries. Uh, this seemingly undermines uh, Israel's efforts to isolate uh, Iran, and it, it brings to question uh, America's role in the region. Washington has always viewed itself as the mediator, as the regional uh, police, uh, with the restoration of ties between countries like Iran and Saudi Arabia and talk of security alliances. It brings to question uh, what, uh, what uh, Washington's role is going to be moving forward in what seems increasingly to be a multipolar world. Reza Sire in Tehran. Thank you very much.